it's Sarah and I was just taking down the Christmas tree and I think I did this last year but I just wanted to go over some of the ornaments that I have on my tree and I know a lot of people do themes at Christmas and um, but for as long as I can remember we've always had so because I have kids the kids usually make an ornament in school and so we just started by you know we were pretty poor not poor but uh, couldn't go out and buy those elaborate Christmas decorations which I love but we did it ourselves so we actually have um, those chains the paper chains that are uh, made of construction paper red and green and that I think it's the original one that we made and every year we take it out and we put it on there again so my tree is pretty you know prim primitive <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you some of the ideas for things that you can do yourself in the crafty world right so this is just this is one of those this is old as could be this is a I think it's a Judy Dipe House pattern that I took from um, one of her books and just put it onto this little doorknob holder. So I hang these all around the house at the holidays. I put them away. But I have several. Now, you guys all know that I started out painting. So, of course, I have lots and lots of painted ornaments. But this is one of my very, very first. And I'll zoom in. Because I knew I loved to paint. And um, I just went and got some basic... Uh, wooden ornaments and painted them myself. I, I don't remember exactly where I got the pattern for this. Um, and then I just put little dip dots in red and green and white and gold and you know, I mean I just did it myself. Uh, I know, well I don't know for sure for sure, but I'm pretty sure the Santa could have come from a coloring book or whatever, but you see I didn't, this is back in, let's see if there's a date on any of these. 88. I'm going to write that darker. 1988. And we. this guy has been, get, Joe always loved these because, you know, I probably would have scrapped them by now. But uh, these have been going on our Christmas tree for that many years, right? Almost 20 years. So you can do it even if you don't think like look at this this is just a tray it's a tree shaped piece of wood and then I just painted it however I wanted I put little decorations and little tiny candy canes all over it and stuff like that right so you can hang those on your tray um, well last year I just love these these make me happy every time I take them out but I haven't been doing paper crafting right so this is basically um, what are these called? Paper mache, right? So here's a painted one. It's just a paper mache ornament shape. Now I painted this one in 2015. I think I did a video for that. If you guys want to refer back, I might have. Um, and so I just got them, you know, you get them. And what I did was I fussy cut out some things from the Graphic 45, um, one of their Christmas lines, cut out the little nutcracker the tree this little tag I think these are probably um, die cuts or you know the little uh, stickers that you can get look the, a button this is a piece of wood and then I added some trims so I have a gold trim and a, a pearl trim there and just paper on the back but I think it's so cool like I love these and look a little I think this stuff I know for a fact this little piece here was in a gift it was gifted me and I just put everything when I love it I put it in a little um, now I bought the probably bought the angel but I just thought it looked so cute on there so you could do that I love them see and it makes me so happy when I get to see them again um, again this is from a graphic 45 some Christmas stickers the Believe, I think, is a sticker, too. So super simple. This, I just fussy cut her out and added stickles, you know. Um, and I just think it's adorable with a big red bow on it. And the trims, you know. I love my trims. Uh, what else? Oh, and I wanted to show you something else from Paper Crafting. This hangs on my tree. I don't hang them all, but this one I liked. This one I made in 2013. It's a mini album. And I thought at the time that I might add pictures, but it's it does have uh, the nutcracker inside of it. And I made this, let me zoom up a little bit, I'm a little too close. 
uh, just stickles it up a little trim plastic canvas on there and I made a little nutcracker book right and then I just put this tie to keep it closed added I think I put a um, what are they called an eyelet in the plastic canvas at the top here yeah I put an eyelet put a little piece of I put a bell and now that's an ornament I just think it's great to, because a lot of times we make things and we don't know what to do with them or we don't have a, a use for it but we enjoy making it so much um, I wanted to show you well I did this Santa and again the same thing I just love them but see these are stickers the snowflake stickers the little holly holly or stickers and then I just this is actually a stamp so you don't need to have fancy paper lines or anything uh, although I you know that's probably graphic 45 but um, I just cut him out and colored him up with my stickles with my stickles Copics and put stickles everywhere that's I just love stickles stickles is such a great invention and did him all right but then I also did plastic canvas for a little while now these are two little ornaments that I think I got in a pattern packet you know um, I think I bought books and everything but these are made out of that plastic canvas the stuff that we use for uh, mixed media and they're little angels but I love hanging these on the tray I, I did these when my mom was sick and I couldn't I just brought a bag full of yarn and some and I could do it while I was sitting with her and I just love seeing them every year and I did a little Santa my brown Santa he's brown um, look at this this is a mixed media piece chipboard wings I embossed with I don't know foil paper it looks like um, bottle cap with a fairy a cherub's face inside and some beads I think these are probably um, I broke them apart and and made bead dangles when I was very first into beads I used to do bead dangles and bead um, we did swaps with these and stuff but this hangs on my tree every Christmas I just love pulling it out again and that way you know it didn't go to waste there's a little bell and I just think it's pretty to hang on your tree and again in that theme again because you know I love my beads but look these are the bottle cap uh, printables that you can get right there's a cork I used the same paper line and it just happened to fit these little pieces fit and I put trim on it put a little dangle on the bottom and that's an ornament I my cousin Fran I give her ornaments pretty much every year I'm uh, gonna see her soon and she gives them away though when people come over and they see them on her tree they you know they think they're so so she just gives them to them like you better stop giving them to them uh, what else I wanted to mention Kathy I'm pretty sure Kathy made this she's a fellow crafter that I used to see mainly at AC Moore and craft shows that we did together but I'm pretty sure this is polymer clay and she's a painter as well but she made the little gingerbread guy out of polymer clay and then she added fabric and I just think that's the cutest thing because I don't really have any sewn ornaments that's the one thing I haven't gotten into and well just my pla um, my plastic canvas that's yarn but literally like sewn things oh my gosh felt I saw a couple videos of people doing felt with die cutting they use die cuts and felt and I think that would be so adorable like I may have to try that that may be in my future um, but I have this one by Kathy and let's see what else um, look just a simple snowflake um, chipboard snowflake and a bottle cap with a winter scene inside and some beads and a beautiful ribbon I just love hanging these on my tree me and Maya did these I think I did this one though it's cookie cutter snowman cookie cutter with some snowflake um, with stamping on it snowflake stamping that hangs on my tray polymer clay you know this takes a second that's a great kids craft to do right this is one of my very first polymer clay pieces that I ever did um, it's it's heavy but um, she's a little angel I mean you can see her wings. she's got a halo and holding the candy cane and she hangs on my tray and I stickles look I have to put stickles on everything I love stickles so much uh, this 
speaking of felt, Dubrovka, my neighbor, um, gave me this on top of her cookies that she baked. So she put this on top of the cookies, and I'm not sure. It, it's probably store-bought. I'm not positive. I'm going to glue that down, though. But I took him off, and I hung him right on my tray. Because, see, I generally buy some some crafty people's ornaments I will buy. I have I ha I know I have a pasta one on my tray right now that I didn't make. It's made all out of different pasta and it's like a little angel. Um there's a couple oh oh definitely quilled. There's quilled ornaments. I should have brought them out here. I, I have a lot of ornaments on my tree but I just grabbed a few that I wanted to show you a sampling of. But this is so cute. Look at this big bell. So you just take this big bell and put a Santa, and now that's an ornament for my tree. I just love it. It makes me so happy. Like, I mean, of course, my Santa, I have him, but this is a big bottle cap. I cut out bottles, I want to say bottles something. Bottles, it's a website. Um, but if you uh, Google it, I Google everything, guys. Don't ever think you can't. If someone doesn't list the supplies, just Google it. If you like it, Google it, and you'll find a source. This ribbon's coming out of my thing. Oh, anyway, um, Stampenda Stamp, the little uh, elf with a doggy. I painted, I'm sorry, uh, Copics, I think. Put them in here and put glossy accents all around. Stamped Believe, a little charm, a ribbon, some beads. It's an ornament. I love it. All right, what else? You know, you guys have seen these before. I did these by the millions. I love them. They're little matchboxes, right? When you're doing your mixed media, throw some Christmas stuff on there. And then, look, there's, oh my God, I hate that noise. A little, these are buttons inside. And it's, oh gosh, oh, oh, I hate that noise. <laughs> but I just love getting these out every year. I put a little bell on the bottom and some beads. This is just a button and some trims and paper. I mean, it's paper, guys, and glue, you know, and some trims, so you can do it. Uh, and then, of course, well, I did this one this year. I did my wood burning, and then this I actually hung on the tree this year. This is some of my glass ornaments, and I decided to cover them with polymer clay, and I put some um, colored gems and just decorated it like a tree. I did intend this to be... A Christmas ornament so I went with red blue I mean just like it would be Christmas balls right and I just love it like then I get to pull it out every year so your Christmas tree is actually a really great place for you to <laughs> collect up some some different crafts that you've done in the past I mean I may never revisit some of these different styles like I probably won't ever do plastic canvas again um, I'll definitely be painting. I love painting and adding to my... Now, I didn't show you guys this one. This is... What is her name? Let me come in. And she's famous for doing these little... And I did this in 03. But these, like, flat heart shapes and all different shapes. But it's like a... Um, I don't know how they get it to be like that. And uh, probably painted this at Chapter. Gosh, her name is on the tip of my tongue. I think it's Susie something. And it's a pattern packet, so you trace on your design, and you just follow the directions. But he's been hanging on my tray since 2003, no doubt. Um, so yeah, I will always be painting. I added, so I added my Santa this year, and I have the snowflake. He's on my tree, too. This is just the pin. Um, and I mean, so you can add your paper crafting. And if you love paper crafting, fussy cut out some stuff and put it on a Christmas ornament. And then... You have, you know, every year you can look back and be like, wow, I was into that that year. All right. So I just wanted to share that. Like this guy. I wouldn't have known what to do with this, but I love it, you know. Like I think sometimes I really fall in love with some of the things I make, and I don't want to put them away. But it is fun when you get to bring them out. And I just love the colors of the metals on here, the charms. I'm pretty sure I got this Hobby Lobby. That's what it was. And most of it came together like this was probably together I'm not sure about these bead dangles I probably made them and then um, this is these are so stiff I don't know what I did to them but all right you guys gotta keep gotta go take that down now all right 
Uh, I think I'm coming back. I'm going to come back and be crafting. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm back. I just wanted to share. I just went and got these, but these are the little quilled ornaments. My granddaughter gets these. There's a craft show locally that uh, one of the vendors does quilling, and I've bought a couple of these from her. Little angels. I love angels, so I was like, I would buy anything angels at, for, at, for a time. <clears throat> then I stopped, but I've never tried quilling, but these are little quilled angels. Look at their hair. I just think they're adorable. Candy cane and a stocking button on there to decorate. And then, of course, I did my Santa. Um, what is this? It's called, uh, not aluminum. You guys, what is it? But remember, so now, because I haven't done this in a while, uh, embossing on, I can't think of the name of it. Um, but he hangs on my tray to remind me and then I think Kathy might have made this one too. I think I bought this from Kathy um, Polymer clay polymer clay and look at this pretty light bulb that she made it's like an iridescent light bulb and a little tiny snowflake on a bow. I mean, you know the cutest right she just texturized the wings so I buy I buy little things at craft shows just to show my support and this was the the noodle one or the pasta one so this is a one two types of pasta little arm elbow macaronis and I think this is a nut some type of nut is for the head and so he's been hanging on my tray too we had to he broke and we had to glue his arm on this year but he's still up there hanging out because it's an angel all right you guys oh wait the piece de resistance this this is a hand blown glass ornament that my niece Rachel made in college and she gave it to me so this hangs on my tree uh, this is the second Christmas I think it's been hanging up there and so thank you Rachel all right you guys thanks for watching